The computer hacker group Anonymous is claiming tonight that it took down the website of the federal appeals court in San Francisco this afternoon. They took down Senate.gov servers. They've taken down HB Gary. Sony's claiming they did $150 million worth of damage. So many confidential files that tonight, because of these hackers, can be in the hands of anyone. Visa, MasterCard, the PayPal situation. The criminals who hacked into Sarah Palin's private email. The Church of Scientology says Anonymous is a cyber terrorist group of religious bigots. Anonymous and this other group called uh, Lulz Sec. They seem to be wanting to prove a point. Anonymous kind of was like the big strong buff kid who had low self-esteem. And then all of a sudden punched somebody in the face and was like, holy shit, I'm really strong. Anonymous calls itself the final boss of the internet, and sometimes it proves to be really fucking true. If you are going to violate the freedoms of the internet, you certainly better watch the fuck out. They are kind of the rude boys of activism. There's a real rough edge to them, which I think also is one reason why they garner so much love and hate from people, too. They represent a certain sort of chaotic freedom, the hacker ethos has a passion for truth. It, it wants what's real to be out there. And it uses kind of the Philip K. Dick definition of reality. And reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, refuses to go away. We stand for freedom. We stand for freedom of speech, the power of the people, the ability for them to protest against the government, to right wrongs. No censorship, especially online, but also in real life. We have members throughout society and all stratas of it worldwide, yet we have no leadership. It's a one voice. It's, it's not individual voices. That's why we don't show our faces. That's why we don't give our names. We're speaking as one, and it's a collective. Good timing. <laughs> So the FBI shows up at 6 in the morning and they drag me out into the cold and there's guns and a little LED flashlight in the vest. It was really obnoxious. If you so much as sneeze on someone's tablet and the government's not happy about it, then you're a hacker. There's people that, have, that are dying for a flag and they're being lied to. And maybe it's time for a new law. If I get the chance to do that, then so be it. And if 14 other people that are with me get the chance to do it, then so be it. You want to see Anonymous rise up? Try to shut down the message. Try to try to squash the message. Try to chill our speech. Then you'll see what Anonymous can do. Right now, you could argue that the most powerful people on Earth are a bunch of nameless, faceless, 17 to 35 year olds. It's like the hacker ruling class, right? It's my community. It's my culture. I identify with Anonymous. Whether they had a tiny, tiny part, or they had a, a substantive part in the Arab Spring, or a toppling of Tunisia and Egypt, Egyptian governments, individual, young, nameless, faceless folks are having geopolitical impact. I mean, it's, it's, it's both exhilarating to realize that and terrifying to realize that. It kind of depends on how that power is wielded.